so in my previous video I made this cute bow RPG and I made it up until the hub area. So let's make this game a bit more, shall we? So I first started off the new devlog with adding a new NPC and I wrote a script for the NPC but the thing is I didn't actually write a new script because I already wrote a script for the sign and I'm just gonna reuse that. And also I tried adding voice acting to the to the game but that kinda sucked. Well go die to some monsters then. <laughs> I can give to you anyway. Well, go die to some monsters then. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna keep the voice acting. I'll most likely get rid of it in the future. Mm. And then after the hub area, I'm gonna add another area. And it's gonna be the mountain area. So I added some walls and terrain. Bumped up some of the terrain. A lot of trees and decoration and added the final section, which is gonna hold the boss inside. And so inside it, I made the first real enemies, Cobras. A lot of them. And I also added the inventory, because it wouldn't be an RPG without it. And then I added chests, so you can actually get items, which is kinda cool. But the game is too hard. So I added healing. So you can heal by this blood flask. You can find the blood flask in the chest. Now the premise behind the blood flask is that the more enemies you kill, the more blood you have. So the more blood you can have, the more you can heal. This prompts an aggressive playstyle which I like. And this feature was also inspired by Bloodborne. And uh, I I don't think you can drink negative blood. So I got it fixed and now you can't drink past zero. And inside the mountain I made a cat boss. He's very fast and he's only got two attacks. A ball throw and a normal attack. <coughs> and he can also dodge your attacks faster than I can dodge uploading this video. He's extremely fast and extremely hard. And once you actually defeat the boss, a chest appears out of nowhere and gives you the meow key. I'm not sure what it's gonna do, but I'll figure that out later. And then I added the main menu so that we can actually play the game, which is kinda cool. And also the options don't work, as they always don't in my games. They're just for aesthetic purposes, because I don't actually know how to add options, but I'm sure I'll figure that out later. And I also added this very pretentious title screen, though it is a cool logo. Okay, then right beside the mountain is where I made a second mountain. So inside the second mountain I bumped up the terrain a bit to make it a bit more interesting. And then I added the church, which will store the second boss of this area. I made the inside of the church, built the walls, and then added details. Adding details in any area is extremely tedious and I want to die, but then I started work on the boss. I finished up all his animations and then I wrote a script for him. But the thing is, I didn't actually write a new script for him. I just reused the one I made for the cat boss and modified it. Uh, reduce, reuse, recycle. Save the planet, copy your scripts. And so yeah, that's as far as I'm gonna get in this devlog. If you would like to see me develop this little RPG further, please subscribe, it really helps me out. So yeah, goodbye. See you in the next time, which is probably going to be 4 months, because I don't upload that much.